I'm great. Uh, finished my workout. Had a little, a good, great sparring. Um, I'm great. You're two and zero. Tell us about the real deal event. Um, hopefully they trying to get me June 2nd. Um, I just got into a new management because I had a little problem with my manager before. Um, that's why I'm 2-0. and I signed last year. Um, but hopefully this year we willing to fight six fights per year, maybe more. At um, what weight class? 118. I'm a 118 fighter, yeah. Uh, what's your expectation for 2018? Oh man, I want to fight at least six or more fights. Um, I'm trying to hurry up my career. Um, had a little problems when I was younger, but now I'm, um, I'm in the game. I'm back in the game, and I'm and I'm coming up. So six fights this year. Uh, you know, next year same amount. Looking for more. Uh, next year could be six two. Uh, I'm two and zero right now. So if I do six fights this year, I do six fights next year. I'm I'll be fourteen and zero. My weight class with eighteen to twenty fights, I'll be fighting for world titles. So that's pretty exciting. So that's the ultimate goal for you. you say? Definitely, definitely. Um. I'm trying to be there with the top guys. I'm training with Tevin Farmer, Jason Sosa, Christopher Pitufo Diaz. So I'm with a great training camp. Um, Raul Chino Rivas, my trainer. So um, they picked me up from Puerto Rico. I was living in Puerto Rico and um, I'm from Newark, New Jersey. So uh, I'm great. I got a real great training camp and um, we working hard. You know, training with Farmer yeah. and uh, Sosa. What have these guys brought to the table to teach you and uh, better your career? Oh man, it's, it's, it's tremendous. Just by me looking at them training, it's, I learn every day from these guys, especially um, a mentor like Tevin. Um, now I got a new management. Um, they call it Secure the Bag, the same management that Tevin has. Um, so we live literally like four minutes away from each other. We always together. He's always helping me out. And um, it's great. It's great having people like that next to me. We got upcoming fights. We got Lomachenko versus Linares. Who do you got winning? Ah, it's a real hard fight, but Lomachenko is just another monster. Um, Linares is a real tough fighter. He's a real, but he he gets injured too fast. That's the only thing I'm scared of. Um, he get cut real fast. But besides that, he's a real great he's a real great boxer. June we have the rematch: Santa Cruz, Mares Part Two. Who do you like in that fight? Ah, that's a real good one because they almost right there next to my weight class. Um, you know what? Y'all probably say I'm wrong, but I got Mares over uh, Santa Cruz. Why you got that? I think he's a real rough fighter. Santa Cruz, all he do is throw a lot of punches and put that pressure on you. But if Linares move and and, and he box, he's he he could take that night. He could take the win that night. We also got in uh in the UK. We got Frampton versus Donaire coming up soon. What do you think about that fight? I like Donaire. Um, when I was in Puerto Rico, I trained for Donaire. I was in Donaire training camp. He was training in uh Felix um Redejo gym, and I was there and uh. And I just like Donaire. I think he's just a different, a special type of fighter. The only thing he just he's going low now, but I think he can take over Francis. Over the weekend, we had Joshua win a Wilder one a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. You know that's like a huge fight. Exactly. Everybody yeah. wants to see, and they find themselves colliding this year. Joshua Wilder. Who you got winning? Uh, it's hard. I'm not. I'm. I'm a real fan of both of them, but uh. I think Joshua got that one. I think he's just more solid, a little bit more younger, and then and it's a different type of level. He's just a superstar. I mean, Wilder's a real good fighter, but Joshua's just a big superstar. He he's gonna have the advantage if they fight over there. Um, that's a home court advantage, just like basketball. It's a home court advantage, and and, and that really helps out in the fight. It, it really motivates you to to get that W when you losing. Um, I just think he's a different animal. Now let's talk about your nickname, Sasarito. Yeah. How did the, how did you come up with the name, or were you given that name? Yeah, I was given that name by my old trainer, uh, Robinson Velez. Um, I used to dance merengue when I was younger, right. so um, that's when I was real small, from like five years old to nine years old. And um, he used to get it confused. He used to think I danced salsa. Okay. So uh, he used to call me Sasarito when I used to come to the gym, and from there I just took that <laughs> nickname. Okay. Uh, where can the fans reach you? They can reach me in uh they can reach me on Instagram, Team Salcerito. They can reach me in Snapchat as Salcerito150. And they can reach me at Facebook, Emmanuel Salcerito Rodriguez. There we go. Thank you, man. There you go. Thank you.